He took a religious leader to task over his views on same-sex marriage during the ABC's Q&A programme on Monday night. And now a group of Queensland Labour MPs are praying that Kevin Rudd can offer some divine inspiration as they face an almighty battle to hold on to their electorates. Mr Rudd won rave reviews in some quarters after defending his support of same-sex marriage in the face of criticism from Brisbane pastor Matt Prater on the Q&A programme. Mr Prater asked Mr Rudd to square his Christian beliefs with his views on gay marriage, which he did to a hearty round of applause from the ABC audience. And I'm just curious for you, Kevin, if you call yourself a Christian, why don't you believe the words of Jesus in the Bible? Well, okay, mate, thank you. Well, mate, if I was going to have that view, uh, the Bible also says that slavery is a natural condition. Because St Paul said in the New Testament, slaves be obedient to your masters. And therefore, we should have all fought for the Confederacy in the US Civil War. I mean, for goodness sake, the human condition and social conditions change. What is the fundamental principle of the New Testament? It is one of universal love. But by Tuesday morning, Mr Rudd was facing fresh concerns, with new polling showing that Labour is set to lose at least four seats in Queensland on Saturday night. Mr Rudd kicked off the day in energetic fashion, taking a brisk walk with about 20 supporters along the Brisbane River, posing for the now obligatory selfie photos and chatting to locals. From there, it was down to Launceston in North Tasmania, where the Prime Minister announced $28 million for the University of Tasmania's Health and Sports Science Training and Research Centre. So midwifery nurses would all go through the standard training? Absolutely, we okay. do. Okay. It's a fundamental skill that we have to have. Good morning, Mr. Rudd. Australia needs you more than ever. Thank you, mate. Good luck on and, uh, and Tassie, uh, I think we have a big, big opportunity to defend Tassie jobs. Thanks, Opposition leader Tony Abbott was pressing the flesh in South Australia, including a visit to an Adelaide family to talk about the coalition's plan to scrap the carbon tax. He also visited a drinks factory and promised an extra $16 million funding for the Australian Consumer and Competition Commission. That money would be used to ensure energy prices fall if the carbon tax is scrapped. Political parties, uh, if they want to flourish, have to respect the views of voters. Now, if the Labor Party loses an election, uh, which is uh, more than anything else a referendum on the carbon tax, they would be committing sui political suicide twice.